What's going on YouTube? This is Kaz and welcome to the Kingdom Perfumes Experience. It's so good to have you guys here on my channel again. If you're new here, welcome. Please consider uh, liking this video and commenting and subscribing by the end of the video if you like the content that you're about to see. For those of you returning, so good to see you guys again. So I got an awesome designer release that I am anticipating um, wearing this fall and it'll actually be mentioned in an upcoming IG Live of mine. Um, so stay tuned after the intro. Welcome back folks. So before I really dive in, I usually like to start off all of my videos with a quick and simple prayer. For those of you that would like to skip the prayer and uh, skip ahead to the beginning of the video, no pressure at all, there will be a link in the description below. For those of you starting the prayer with me, let's go ahead and start. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all my viewers. We just thank you for this opportunity to connect and uh, share a common passion, Lord. We thank you for uh, community, relationships, and uh, connection and passions um, and the sense of smell and fragrances, Lord. We th we're thankful for these simple joys of life. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, so today's video is gonna be about an awesome banger. We are gonna be looking at Ultramall from John Paul Gaultier, okay? So here is the presentation of Ult um, Ultramall. And if you guys are familiar with the house, a lot of their fragrances, if not all of the male um, fragrances that have that, um, you know, torso bottle design do come in this kind of like, you know, cylindrical container, it's aluminum. Um, it's actually pretty sturdy. I'd actually rather have my fragrances come in something like this than a cardboard or paper box because this is a lot harder to damage than a, you know, paper box or something. So I've always appreciated this about them. All right, so we'll have um, Jean-Paul Gaultier kind of embossed in the metal can and then you have Ultramol in the red. And as we open the bottle, it also has the same colorway. Let me make sure it's right for you guys. Make sure it's facing the right way. All right, there we go. And the bottle sits on a really nice precipice. Um, you know, it's kind of velvet, kind of suede. I'll go a little closer. All right, dark blue bottle um, with dark blue stripes. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this aside. Um, I do like the you know podium presentation with the suede. It's it's really simple, but it goes a long way. I, I love presentations. So here's our bottle. This is a um, 100 ml bottle. All right, and we'll talk about this a little bit. So Ultramol, this was uh, perfumed in 2015. This is a 2015 release. And um, the nose behind this, as well as some of the other JPG fragrances, is the ultimate, the awesome master perfumer, Maison Francis Kerjan. You'll see his picture alongside of me here. And Maison Francis Kerjan has created some wonderful masterpieces. By the way, he does such good work with these. Um, these are simple designer releases. They are not expensive, the Jean Paul uh, Gaultier fragrances. And he's also created the more niche. Um, Baccarat Rouge 540, the um, I think the Aqua Universalis line, right? Um, the uh, Ala Rose uh, line, right? The Grand Soi are just some of his fragrances, and they are just all bangers. He is a really talented perfumer, and for a designer release, I mean, when I wore the, um, I had a, I have a sample of uh, Le Mans. And my wife was blown away by the couple of spritzes from the sample that I was wearing from the mall because the vanilla, the mint, the freshness, the smoothness, the suave, the sophistication of that fragrance was very captivating, not only for me, but also for her, especially those um, base vanilla notes. And guess what? We're gonna get a lot of vanilla in this guy, all right? So I'm gonna put some sprays on my hand. We'll go ahead and um, talk through the notes and um, you know, this will be a pretty brief, brief video, so. Um, by the way, the atomizers are pretty good. Let me see if I can show you guys. All right. All right. Not the biggest burst, but it, it, you get a nice, nice mist. And um, I believe it's like maybe either spring or pressure controlled. So if you if you push down really hard, you'll get a quick blast. Okay. 
So what do you get in the opening? Whew. All right, so you're gonna get a lot of sweetness, but you will get the lavender, right? That aromatic lavender we all love. Um, I think some of the bergamot as well. All right, and then it immediately starts to um, do its sweet thing that it always does. Um, Ultramol is known for being a nice, sweet, cooler weather, um, date night fragrance. This is, um, you could look at it as a guilty pleasure um, type of fragrance. It is really versatile. Man, I highly recommend that you have something like this in your collection um, because it's one of those fragrances that it's, it's on the sweeter side, okay? It, it does open with that nice fougere. This is categorized as an amber fougere on Fragrantica. And it does open with that fougere quality, that fougere character. Um, and I, I love it, you know? Um, sometimes it reminds me of the, the woody fougere nature of Leighton. Um, this by no means smells like Leighton at all, but um, the, the fougere quality or characteristics within it reminds me of that same characteristic in Leighton, okay? But um, it's nice to have a sweeter fragrance as a man, in my opinion, because, you know, when you're going out and having more sophisticated events, or even with a significant other, um, you don't always necessarily need a sharp beast mode fragrance. Sometimes you want something that's a little more laid back, a little sweeter, okay? Because, you know, from my interpretation, you know, based on my, um, you know, how I view the world, gentlemen don't always have to be, um, uber masking or anything right it's, it's okay to 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 be firm you know as as a man but also have some sweetness going on you know some some more softer or uh sensitive characteristics right i mean after all that's how we that's a big connection point to you know our female counterparts so and i'm pretty sure my wife um appreciates when i have a little sweetness going on okay not super super sweet you know balance it out a little bit but anyway I'm rambling a lot. Let's go ahead and talk about these notes. So I told you guys it's a 2015 release. Amber Fougere based on uh, Fragrantica. Maison Francis Crujon is the mastermind behind this fragrance. Notes. In the top, we're gonna have some pear, lavender, mint, bergamot, and lemon. In the heart, we're gonna have some cinnamon, caraway, and clary sage. Finally, in the base, we're gonna have some black vanilla husk, amber, patchouli, and cedarwood. So, you know, as I'm starting to smell this fragrance and, you know, see how it's developing, you're really gonna get a, a lot of that um, vanillic sweetness, okay? Now, this says black vanilla husk, and for those of you that might not be um, familiar, and I'll try to show some pictures here on the screen that you can look at, but the black vanilla husk, okay? That is like the shell or the empty shell of the vanilla bean, which is a black, it's a black pod, okay? So that empty shell, you can further maybe boil that or you can cook that um, in some of your meals just to get some of that residual sweetness off the husk, right? Um, so by using that, the, the, the vanilla remnants from the husk, okay? It gives the entire profile its sweetness and I absolutely love how sweet this fragrance is. And then the amber just further adds to the depth, okay? The amber and the cedar wood they really ground this fragrance, okay? They just give it this really nice woody base, but it's not a woody fragrance by any means, um, or at least that's not the, the dominant characteristics. The dominant characteristics here are gonna be really the lavender and the mint in the opening, kind of similar to the Le Mans, right? With um, John Paul, you know, just the regular Le Mans fragrance, the, the flagship, okay? I don't really, I didn't really get a lot of lemon. I think the lemon comes in a quick spritz, you know, along with the bergamot, the lavender is really the prevalent opening note in my to my nose. You're gonna get the bergamot as a supporting kind of, you know, green, juicy supporting note there, citrus note, right? So the bergamot and lemon kind of, you know, they kind of fuse into one. It, it, this is really not about those notes. It's really about the lavender and the mint in the opening. The pear kind of gives it this softness. Um, and it's, it's oh, this is such a beautiful, beautiful um, cloud. We're going to talk about projection of Seattle in just a second. Um, but the cinnamon in the heart now, you are going to get a little bit of the spice. So when it opens, right, you get the sharp blast of lavender that you're used to from Fougeres, like I mentioned. And then the cinnamon in the heart kind of is like a gateway. So it's going to naturally progress into the heart. You're going to get a little bit of that cinnamon. Caraway is a type of, um, it's a type of spice that is kind of cinnamon adjacent to my nose. I really don't know how to describe caraway. 
maybe somewhere in between cinnamon and cumin, right? Somewhere smack dab in the middle. Um, it's, it's a really nice spice. And I did do a video um, in my ABCs of perfumery. Um, go ahead and click on that pull out tab that you're about to see. Um, that is just a video kind of describing uh, the ABCs of perfumery system and some of the notes that I have in my possession as a perfumer that kind of talks about it. So caraway is in that list because it's a, it's a cooling note, right? And in the ABC system, it's B for iceberg, right? Which means cooling. Okay, not my system, by the way. This is perfumer's world system. Side caveat. But anyway, and then the, cl the clary sage kind of gives it some depth as well. You know, some herbaceousness. You're not going to really smell that um, by itself because it's this composition is really well done. But the black vanilla husk is present through and through. That's the sweetness and the backbone behind this fragrance. You're gonna smell, you're not gonna smell like pure vanilla, okay? Cause it's just the husk, okay? So it's just adding some more sweetness versus the actual vanilla character. And you really have to, have to get your hands on this fragrance to know what I'm talking about because at least to me, there, there's like a faint um, profile of vanilla, vanilla, but what I think it's um, mostly there for is just to add some sweet characteristics, just some sweetness to the profile. Um, and of course, talked about amber, the patchouli, just like the clary sage adds a little bit more grounding and some cedar wood there to merge with the patchouli with the amber, again, more grounding, right? So we have all these grounding and supporting notes really kind of rallying around the vanilla husk, um, the cinnamon, um, and the mint, the lavender um, in the beginning. The pear is kind of like a softening, nice note too. I can, I could smell this thing all day. And it really, it lasts a good amount of time on the skin. If you spray it, um, I think it's now, what time is it now? It's actually almost six o'clock. So if I were to spray this now, it'll probably last well into the night, maybe 10, 11 o'clock, I'm still smelling it. If you spray it on your clothes, you're gonna get a really, really nice longevity there. And the projection is very good. Um, the John Paul Gaultier fragrances do have a decent projection, so I like that. Um, I do appreciate that about them. So that's my video, guys. Um, I really appreciate Ultramall for what it does and all that it is. Um, you will be seeing this in my upcoming live. Please don't forget to tune in. That is tomorrow live with myself and Mr. Uh, Ken Labe from Labe Aroma. You will see his picture here. We will be meeting at Ariel Shoshana, a local niche store here in the Northern Virginia area. And um, we'll be just talking about some of our upcoming fall fragrances. And this is one of those three. So stay tuned, you won't want to miss because I'm adding um, a fourth and a fifth, but those are kind of like bonuses. So we're really going to be focusing on three fragrances each. And um, I would love to have you guys on that live stream. Anyway, I've rambled enough. Thank you guys so much um, for just sticking with me and watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what are some of the fragrances that you're planning to wear for this fall season. Hope to see you guys soon again back here on my channel. Until then, take care.